Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Minister Willie Packer once again with the Holiness is Right program. I come and thank God for being here another Sabbath day. I thank God for yet being saved, sanctified, through the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank God for still walking in this way of holiness, going on this holy highway, going on obeying God's word to be what the Lord has me to be in these last and evil days. I thank God for yet being filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, which I obey to receive. And in order to keep it, I'm going to obey God every word that is written. I thank God for my pastor, Apostle Sledge, to uh, Minister Robert, Minister Terry, uh, Prophet Diane, and Brother Christopher for being here also. Thank God for everybody out there listening. I thank God for you listening. I thank God for everything that God is allowing me to learn, everything he's teaching me. But I can't just learn this on my own. I have to have a teacher in front of me, and I thank God for it. The teacher he has given me thank god for it with the mind and heart to want to stay saved not just to be saved but to stay saved you get filled with the holy ghost is up for is up to you to be obedient to stay saved it's up to you to be obedient and to be perfect as god wants you to be so you can make it into that new heaven and new earth because god is coming jesus is coming back with a church without spot wrinkles wrinkle blemish or any such thing that should be holy without blemish, holy without blame. And that's what God is coming back for. That's who's going to be living with God for all eternity. And I thank God for it. And I don't want to be anything else but holy. Because that's what God is. I can't be his child and not be exactly what he is. It just doesn't work like that. I got to have that spiritual DNA, which is the Holy Ghost. It's not no Catholic, no Baptist ghost, no Presbyterian. It's the Holy Ghost. And that's what it is. It's either the holiness or hell. Amen. It's just that simple. The choice you make today, not tomorrow, but the choice you make today is, is going to determine where you spend your life. You don't know if tomorrow is, if you're going to see tomorrow. Tomorrow ain't promised to you. Tomorrow is not promised to any of us. Amen. So you need to make the choice today while you have today. Because tomorrow you could wake up in hell, lifting up your eyes in hell, wondering how you got there. But that's not what we want for you. This is why we're telling you the truth. Because we want you to have eternal life. And I thank God for it. Thank God for the day. Thank God for the word. We're going to get into the word. See what the Lord has to say unto us all. Because without the word, we cannot be cleansed. I think it's uh, John 15 chapter. You are cleansed through the word. By the word. Amen. It's truth. Because nothing else will will keep you but the truth. Nothing else will keep you but holding this God himself. And we're going to go to the book of First Peter. We're going to First Peter, first chapter. We're going to go to the 18th verse. It says, For as, for as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things such as silver and gold. Now, you weren't redeemed your soul isn't saved because of how much money you have. Mm -hmm. The richest man right now can offer all the all the money he has, but it won't save his soul. Amen. Because the Lord says silver and gold are mine. Now, how can you pay something to God that's already his? He created the earth. Mm -hmm. He spoke it into existence. Mm -hmm. So how can you give him something that's already his? All he wants from you is obedience. It says, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold. God is perfect. He is pure. So how can you obtain what he has for you with corruptible things when he is incorruptible? Mm -hmm. It says, From your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Now, the empty conversation, they, they're no good. No good at all from the conversation and... Conversation received by tradition from your father, what you've been taught. Mm -hmm. What the Baptists be teaching each other, Baptists born, Baptists bred, when they die they'll be Baptists dead. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. No, you will be dead as a sinner in hell, lifting up your eyes. And then after that, you're going to the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. It says, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. They teaching you this. So you figured this is right and you don't want to, you're too proud to get away from it. Mm -hmm. so, but with the precious blood of Christ, this is what you were bought with. Mm -hmm. None of us are our own. We are not our own. We all been bought by with the precious blood blood of Christ, mm -hmm. but people still out there want to do what they want to do instead of obeying God and being what you, He wants you to be. Mm -hmm. You want to go against God. You want to try to negotiate with God, saying, "God, I think this is the better way, so I'm gonna be this." But you still gonna let me in. Mm -hmm. You know, any man not following the way of God, he, any man not coming in through the door is a thief mm -hmm. and a robber. A thief is different than a robber. A thief is sneaking his way around to steal. A rob, a robber will come up straight to you and take what you got by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. Now, you a thief and a robber, as it says in the book of John, the tenth chapter. You a thief. You first, you try to sneak it around, but then the truth hits you. It exposes you for what you really are, which is a sinner, and then you're gonna try to take eternal life for yourself. It don't work like that. But you were already bought. All you got to do is obey and do what God wants you to do. He left you simple instructions. A fool cannot error from it. A, a four-year-old can understand this. It's if somebody breaks it down to where he can understand it. And it is that, that simple. It says, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Now that is one word for all of that. Perfect. You were bought. With the blood of Christ, the blood of a perfect lamb, he walked this earth without sin mm -hmm. at all. No sin of God was found in his mouth at all. He was in the flesh. He was in the likeness of sinful flesh. Mm -hmm. He did not sin at all. And yet his blood cleansed you from all sin so you can walk as he did. Mm -hmm. It's just that easy and just that simple. I I tell the men in the jailhouse, it is easier to stay away from something than to keep doing something. Mm -hmm. You got to keep paying to do it mm -hmm. instead of just staying away from it. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to pay nothing just to stay away from something. Amen. It says, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. See, all this was done before the foundation of the world, so you have no excuse at all. God knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. He went to the end and came back and started. So he planned every bit of it out, not leaving anything out. Mm -hmm. This is an intelligent God. Yes, he knew he exactly what he was doing. He does not make mistakes. Mm -hmm. We make mistakes. Mm -hmm. and then after you make the mistake, you know what you did and you know what's wrong. Then you go back and do it again. Then you are sinning. You didn't know about it the first time. You go back and you're sinning, huh? says, who verily was foreordained? He couldn't find anybody else but his only begotten son to die for us. The perfect, the perfect blood to cleanse us. See, Adam, the blood we got from Adam was tainted, mm -hmm. contaminated with sin. But then Christ come along with his blood, no sin in him at all. And that's how we are being washed. It says, but was manifest in these last times for you. See, he didn't... He manifested Christ at the right time. He, not too late, not too early, at the perfect time. God has a set timing for everything. Amen. And he had a set timing for when to redeem us with the precious blood of Christ. Because before, things were bad, but now this world is wicked yes, than it ever has been. Amen. says, who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might not, might be in God. Mm -hmm. Now, you believe in Jesus, you're going to believe in God regardless. Mm -hmm. my, I and my Father are one. You cannot say you believe in God you don't believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. He sent his only begotten Son. So how in the world can you say you believe in God and he sent his only begotten Son, but I don't believe in him? Hmm. You want to go, you want to go any other way around Jesus. Jesus is the door. There's no other door. There's no back door. There's no window you can get in. Jesus is the door. One way and that's it. A highway and a way and it shall be called the way of holiness. Jesus is that way of holiness. You cannot get around him at all. 
Yeah. You cannot get around holiness. Who can get around God? Nobody. God created. God was always holy, yeah. and He created for us to be as He is, Amen. holy. So how can you get around God, period? Amen. He created everything. Amen. And it's just that simple. But you're still trying to make it complicated. Like, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make up my own way. Mm -hmm. You're trying to make up an excuse. Excuses only satisfy the one who make them. And this excuse is not even satisfying you. Amen. It says, 22nd verse says, Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth, through the spirit unto unfitting love, unfake is not fake, is real love of the brethren. Now you purified your souls mm -hmm. in obeying the truth. Mm -hmm. Now you become perfect in obeying. He gave the Holy Ghost to them that obey him. So you have to repent of all your sins. Be godly sorry, not wanting to do anything anymore. You got to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. Mm -hmm. And then you must tarry. You must wait. Mm -hmm. You must wait. Mm -hmm. Even Paul waited. Mm -hmm. Paul waited three days and three nights. He fasted. He was blind. He waited on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus waited until that time he had to go be baptized of John. Mm -hmm. Waited. Mm -hmm. You have to wait. And then you have to call on the name of the Lord and be baptized in his name. You have to obey the truth through the spirit. Now you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now you can become perfect. You can be without sin. It's just that simple. Amen. And then unto unfinished love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. You cannot have a pure heart unless God created you a clean heart. He take that. He take that stony heart out and give you a heart of flesh. He gives you a heart. So if that heart coming from God is definitely pure. Now if it becomes impure, if it becomes contaminated, dirty, filthy, you did something to it. You got sin in there somewhere. That is on you. That is not God. That is on you. You go back and sin. You were drawn and enticed by your own lust. It's in the book of James. I believe it's in the fourth chapter. 23rd verse. Being born again. Not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. God's word will always stand. He said, heaven and earth will pass away before his word will. Now, when this earth is gone, God's world is still going to stand. It will always be here. God is his word from everlasting to everlasting. It says, being born again of the water and of the spirit, being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, then being filled with the Holy Ghost, becoming a new creature. See, when a child is born, he's a new creature in this world. Amen. So when you being born again, you are completely innocent as a newborn baby. Amen. You are new. Mm -hmm. It says, not of, in, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, obeying his word, doing exactly what he told you to do. Say, which liveth and abideth forever. Now, this is the last verse. I'm going to skip to the 25th verse. But the word of God endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. God's word, his holy word. And it abides forever. Not Nothing of this word will ever change. Amen. You can read it in the book of scriptures. King James 1611. King James Version 1611. You can... Read it, get mad at it, throw it in the corner, go back 10 years later, it'll read the same thing. You may have to blow the dust off of it, but it's still the same word. <laughs> I thank Amen. God, because that's all that God has given to me. I hope somebody got a thought of the word. Amen. I love each and every one of y'all. It's just holiness, it's just Jesus. All you got to do is obey. If you, it's all your choice. Amen. It's a simple choice of holiness or hell, and that's it. Amen. I love y'all.